but we can speak to Shamim Chowdhury, who is uh, joining us from Gaziantep, near the Turkey's border with Syria. Shamim, are you there? Shamim Chowdhury, the Syrian government continuing to make advances on the ground in, uh, in Syria? Yes, it has been continuing to make uh, advances and uh, a major advance um, occurred last night when two key Shia villages in the north of uh, the Aleppo countryside in Aleppo province uh, were captured, allowing the regime to take control of a key corridor which cuts off much of the supplies of uh, rebel groups and opposition groups. Um, it's unlikely that uh, the, uh, certainly from what we can, we can see, that the fighting in this region is going to um, is going to slow down and of course that was one of the issues at the uh, Geneva conference that uh, there needs to be some kind of commitment uh, some kind of uh, reassurance that there will be some kind of easing on the ground and we haven't seen that um, activist groups have been saying that um, around 500 bombs have been dropped by the Syrians and by the Russians who joined in the um, onslaught um, some months back so certainly the Russians or the regime hasn't given any indication that there's going to be any halting of uh, military action. So it's most likely that it will continue. Give us a sense of the humanitarian situation uh, in that area. Well, the humanitarian situation uh, in Syria was desperate before the peace talks started and it remains desperate. Uh, the regime has conceded to allowing some humanitarian aid into the country. There is a bit of aid getting in and in fact just today, Thursday, 12 international Red Cross convoys have entered uh, western Ghouta which is the countryside surrounding the capital Damascus carrying food and medical supplies but it doesn't seem to be nearly enough. Um, don't forget there are 12, uh, sorry, 18 uh, areas uh, within Syria that are uh, besieged. What this means is that residents there um, have no access to food, uh, water or medical supplies. A number of these, um, these areas are in very remote places. So aid is trickling in um, very, very slowly, but we are looking at 6.5 million people who have been internally displaced. So whatever is getting in uh, is really going to be a drop in the ocean. Um, and just, the talks may have broken down, but that situation is not going to change. Okay, Shamim uh, Chowdhury, very good to get your perspective there. Uh, joining us live from Gaziantep, uh, near Turkey's border with Syria.